The bigwig elitists out in Hollywood are now sitting around conference tables in dimly lit rooms, wondering how they can stop what's coming. Most of them have resigned themselves to the fact that they can't. They can only delay it, but it's going to arrive. And when it does, it's going to change the world in a way that people cannot imagine. And that's kind of a big statement given the last five to ten years. I think many of the things that have occurred, our parents, grandparents just wouldn't believe those that have passed on. Now, we have a full set of videos talking about this particular issue over at the Patreon channel. There's four levels over there. One dollar a month, five, ten, and fifteen. This most recent one that we just put up only about an hour or two ago is for everybody. It's the one dollar level. We did our initial briefings with the brigade commanders and the unit commanders. Then we did a video for the need to know level. That's the five dollar a month level. But it's time to get back and get everybody in the same room and talk about something that has occurred in the last six to seven years that nobody saw coming, nobody thought could occur, and it's only getting worse. Now, that's all I can really say here on this platform because it's heavily sanitized. If you'd like to join us over there where the adults speak, where we can take the gloves off at the base level, and this particular most recent video, only one U.S. dollar per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year and fully refundable, first 90 days, no questions asked, if you want to try your hand at some of these higher levels, I'll warn you, they're not for everybody. I come from Generation X, and we really didn't have much use for those who tiptoed around the truth, even more so than our predecessors, really. We were kind of that generation that just told it like it was. So without any further delay, God bless all of you who have showed up over there and pledged your support, making a huge Huge difference in my life. Humbled and grateful. Thank you very, very much. Now, let's get right to it. What are we talking about? We're going to start with two quotes. Florence Scovel Shin, one of the most devout Christians that ever lived, very succinctly said, there is a supply for every demand. Meaning if somebody out there wants something, there's going to be somebody who has the ability to supply it. Now, very oddly, a man named Lucky Luciano, the head of the Genovese crime family, the original old-school mafia gangsters from Italy, said, if you have a lot of what people want and can't get, then you can supply the demand and shovel in the dough. Now, it's basically just two ways of saying the same thing. Right now, what we're looking at with this issue with Mr. Trump and Ms. Harris, it's just supply and demand. What she has, nobody wants. You can cook up as much fake demand as you want. You can make things shined up and look all pretty. But right now, what Donald Trump has is what everybody wants. And right now, they can't get Donald Trump fast enough. This was absolutely the most stunning thing. This is a CNN poll. A CNN poll has Donald Trump up two points. CNN poll up two points. PBS poll up one point. And then most recently, there was an NBC poll that came out that shows them tied. If an NBC poll has these two individuals tied, He's going to win by 12 points. He's going to win by 13 points. Nobody wants what she's selling. Now, this is perfect evidence of that. This meeting between the governor of Florida and Joe Biden being cordial and decent and non-political and just focusing on the destruction from the two hurricanes is just a perfect example of statesmanship. How many of you have noticed a change in Joe Biden in the last few weeks? He's almost become somewhat tolerable. Many people forget he's old enough to be Governor DeSantis's grandfather. 
That's the age difference between the two men. But they were able to shake hands and be civil to one another. I think that's something that a lot of Americans want right now. They want civil, they want decent, they want things to be focused on fixing things. DeSantis snubs Kamala's call but earns Biden's praise over Hurricane response. He's fully cooperative and Joe Biden had nothing but nice things to say about the governor of Florida. And when your enemies say nice things about you, as well as your friends, then you know she has to be fuming. She absolutely has to be steamed beyond all recognition. But there is another story that I have wanted to talk about for a long time. And I'm going to ask my audience an honest question. Why don't you see Venezuelan gangs taking over apartment complexes in Florida? I promise you, we got a lot more Spanish speakers in Florida than they have in Aurora, Colorado. Way more. We have whole neighborhoods in the south side of Miami that are all Spanish signs, all Spanish businesses, everybody speaks Spanish. Why are Venezuelan gangs not taking over? You would think they would have started there. If there was any place in this whole country where these Venezuelan gangs, Trendo Aragua, or what the hell ever, if they were going to start to get a foothold somewhere, it would be in South Florida. Why not? Seriously, why not? Why is it Chicago? Why are the Chicago gangs worried about the Trendo Aragua and Venezuelan gangs? But nobody in Florida gives a rat's ass. See, it's an interesting thing. It's... I, I'm confused. I'm honestly confused. I thought selling drugs and being in a gang was cool. I mean, look at American TV. Breaking Bad was probably, I don't think it's an overstatement to say, probably the single most popular TV show online for half a decade. Queen of the South. Sons of Anarchy. Narcos. How far down the list do you want to go? And besides, nobody, we have gangs in this country and nobody does a thing about them. Nobody does a thing about the, why, why is it all of a sudden now that it's Venezuelan gangs that it's a problem? You don't think there are gangs that have taken over the south side of Chicago and parts of Philadelphia and other cities and Dallas and why is it all of a sudden now the Venezuelans are the problem? I thought it was cool. I mean, there's there's more shows than I can I can show you images for. Talking about how cool it is to be a gangbanger, and commit domestic domestic violence, and you know sell substances, and be and, and just basically be a giant dick bag. You see, back in the '80s during Gen X youth, we also had shows. But we put them in a quite a different light. But you see, oh, I forgot. I forgot. You can't watch those shows. You can't watch those shows because they're just not, not going to be good for young eyes. Because they might see something that, you know, they might ask a question about. And we can't have that, can we? Do you see how it's kind of backwards? That this, this is the problem. But it would show, watching the old Miami Vice, the drug dealers and the thugs and the criminals and the cartels in the proper light, the right way, and yeah, might be some girls in bikinis. Oh no, end of the world. But I still want to ask the question, why are they not in Florida? Why are they not in Florida? I think a lot of people can answer that question. Why are there no Crips and Bloods taking over anything in Florida? You see, there's this argument about, you know, gun rights and concealed carry and open carry and my rights and what's the right way and all this kind of crap. You know, if you're a gangbanger, if you're a gangbanger and you're going to go out and you're going to try to make a name for yourself you're probably going to want to wake up tomorrow morning. 
alive, above ground, in your, in your bed, breathing. We got guys that roll around on big, loud motorcycles in Florida. We got Bike Toberfest going on in the springtime. We got Bike Week in Daytona, right down the road. I mean, I appreciate, you know, that, you know, they all come and spend their money and everything. But, man, it gets a little bit, it's a lot to deal with. Well, it's more than a little bit. It's a lot to deal with. Because, I mean, they are just absolutely everywhere. Take over the roads. and I did. I thought Sons of Anarchy was cool. I mean, wouldn't you want your sons to grow up to be guys in the gang Sons of Anarchy? If that's the problem, I mean, what's, what's the problem with the Queen of the South? Or, I mean, why not just cook meth out of a trailer? I mean, it's, you know, nobody has a problem with this. So I really am uh, flummoxed. Why is this such a big deal? It's just Aurora. And like the lady, like Martha Raddatz said, yeah, there's only a handful. There's only a handful of apartments. See, what Martha Raddatz was saying, that, uh, you know, everybody was uh, all up in arms when J.D. Vance said, Lord, do you listen to yourself? Do you listen to yourself? Clearly, J.D. Vance has never been to a major city in North America to see American gangs that have taken over huge swaths of L.A., of Chicago for sure, Detroit, Philadelphia. Some folks out there helped me out with some of these. Uh, St. Louis. Massive amounts of gang activity. And if somebody says, well, they're all American citizens and American citizen gangs are different than Venezuelan gangs. Really? So if somebody, you know, I can't say that here. I'll have to say that at Patreon, but I've never heard anybody who had something bad happen to a loved one say, well, at least that bad thing didn't happen by a person of that national origin. At least that bad thing happened to them by an American citizen. It's just, it's unreal. But one way or the other, there is a supply for every demand. And believe me, there's demand. Not for things that people want to admit that there's a demand for, but there's a demand. Lucky, Lucky Luciano said it. If you've got something, people want. If you've got something, people want. And they can't get it. Then you can supply that demand and shovel in the dough. And right now, what's going on? What Kamala Harris is selling? Nobody wants. It's just basic business. herself being there's an old saying and i guess i'll get off here before i, I bore the, the daylights out of people but there's an old saying that goes when you're in sales you sell yourself first then you sell the product whether it's a car whether it's a couch whether it, whatever it is if you're in sales and marketing you sell yourself first and she hasn't done that she has not done that, and it's too close to the election now to try and sell herself. She's just not uh, not anybody that anyone takes seriously. And I think, honestly, this thing with Governor DeSantis and Joe Biden makes that more evident than anyone else could. She's irrelevant. She's absolutely irrelevant. Nobody's even considering her as having any role in any kind of a serious discussion about anything. Even this guy. He hasn't come out and said it in so many words. But these words, these lack of words, speak volumes. You know, this was a, a time for focus on what was it, win, what's important now, the acronym W-I-N, what's important now, win, and nothing else. So, just saying, this, this, these last few weeks have been very surreal. It's almost, 
harkens back to the, the very old blue dog Democrat conservative Joe Biden from the 1990s. But I digress. Another topic for another day. Anyway, just wanted to share this with you and let everyone know there's a brand new video. Brand spanking new video over Patreon. And it's for everybody. It's for the base level, one, five, ten, fifteen. Fifteen dollar a month, you get access to everything. Ten dollar a month, you get access to ten, five, and one. Five dollar, you get five dollar videos, you get the one dollar videos. And of course, down at the base level, there's hundreds of videos at the base level, by the way. Hundreds of videos. And we're going to be doing weekly briefings with the brigade commanders and the unit commanders. And the need to know folks are going to kind of have their own little special tack, their own little special direction. So love to have you over there. Makes a huge, huge difference. And what we talk about in the most recent video actually has a lot to do with the new direction of online and how things are going to work. So I will leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.